Hey everyone, this is Domina Mara, and I am officially another year older. <laughs> A special thank you to everybody who wished me happy birthday, and guess what? This video today is going to be about the gifts that people have gifted me. And before anybody says anything about me trying to brag about it or me trying to show off, the point of me showing you guys what my haul is is more like so that you could possibly obtain these objects from these specific brands and use them for your own kink. So I'm showing you as an example of what you can do to spice up your lives and to show you guys what's already out there. I am not being sponsored by any of these brands. If I am, I will let you know. But for now, these were all gifted to me by people who have been following me for a long time, people who are my clients, and personal uh, friendships that I've created over my kinky journey. Before I go into that, I really want to thank everybody who's been following me on my Instagram and my Twitter. This has been going continuously throughout summer, even though I know people are in and out of their day-to-day -day routine. So I want to thank you guys for that. I will also no longer be posting all of my photo sets on Instagram. I used to post everything that I've worked on on my page, but I found that limiting it to nine of my best photos or the ones that I think flow best together would work for Instagram. Otherwise, it starts looking too much of the same. So you can check out the rest on my portraits page. And if you'd like to buy any prints and support my work, you can do that on my website. In other news, I wanted to let you guys know that I now have an official newsletter, which you can find on my website on the About page. Just scroll under the Written section and you'll find a Subscribe. I will also have my newsletter send out on Twitter when I post a new newsletter and you can sign up through that. It'll look like this. <laughs> I recently did a interview with Kink Weekly, so look out for my photos that have been featured here. The interview is coming out soon, but it has to be edited. If you guys want to read my full story, you can also find that on my website on the new tab, new page called Publications. As for presents this month, I really love August because presents just keep on rolling in. <laughs> um, but I do have to give a huge shout out to my financial sub, MP. He has been on hiatus for a couple months, but this month he really brought it back with new floggers, presents like buying me groceries, and I have other things from him that I'll be showing. Huge thank you to him. And yeah, I think those are all the updates I have. If I have any more, I will let you know afterwards. But for now, let's uh, take a look at what I got. So this is going to be kind of a casual unboxing of things. I don't have anything wrapped in a particular way. I don't have, <laughs> you know, lovely wrapping paper per se, but everything came to my mailbox which is where I prefer my gifts to be sent to me just so that I don't have to worry about it it is signed for and I can pick it up whenever I want to so first and foremost I recently got a new hanks of rope these were specially made from a guy in Japan who has to wait out the rainy season for these to actually dry and hang and everything so those were a little bit pricey, but they are going to be a great investment for me to get back and more serious into Kimbaku and Shibari, which is the art of Japanese rope tying. And I'm really excited about that because I actually started my personal route in kink outside of the dungeon being a rope bottom. And now it's my turn to kind of do the role reversal and as a female dom it's pretty exciting to be the one in power and to get fulfillment out of that so yay the next thing i kind of want to unveil are these beautiful beautiful torches from dark monk they have custom handles as you can see at the ends 
and this is actually for flushing or like fire eating but I'm going to be doing fire play with these I also have a glass set that can be found here I'm super excited to play with as well it is going to be more for therapy and for relaxation and don't worry I have taken classes on fire play so I am not going into it blind and just watching YouTube videos on how to do things like I actually took a class I've had multiple people do it on me so I know how it is and I will be practicing on myself and other people who are close to me very slowly before I take it into session. But look out for that because I will be updating that on my fetish list. All right, what else do we have here? Don't need that. <laughs> oh, so to go with my torches, I have a fan from Austria. His name is Wolfgang, and he also got me these kid cups, which are stainless steel. Y'all are probably like, what the hell do you need kid cups for <laughs> that are made out of stainless steel? But these are going to be perfect for holding that 70% alcohol that I'll be using to swab my torches in, dab on the side before lighting on fire, and then putting that onto skin and just running my hand over. So this is really exciting. I don't know if he knew what those were for, but thank you Wolfgang for that. And I believe he also got me something else. It's in a very small package, so I don't know what it is. It feels like jewelry and yeah it is it's a very cute rose gold ring <laughs> to match my you know shiny outfits thank you to Wolfgang he's been a patron of mine for a couple years now and has won four by six photos from participating on my competitions that I had for Twitter growth in the beginning and I think I'll be doing a couple of those soon especially when I reach a bigger number so look out for that <sighs> I also want to thank my client LD for some spending money and I went over to pleasure chest to pick up some new items. And this is a video of me also testing out the merchandise before I purchased it. Of course, anything shiny and anything gold and black, I was like, all right, that's mine. <laughs> True Leo. Meow. I will be unboxing that right here. Today, I am excited to unpack my $400 shopping spree at Pleasure Chest that I did this weekend. So let's take a look at what we have in these bags. Let's start with this one. Here we have Sir Richard's Element PM Vibrating Prostate Massager. And we have that piece of jewelry, which I will open in a second. We have a Lilo scented candle that has massage oil and flickering touch in the snow pear and cedar wood flavor. Oh, I've been waiting so long for these. In this bag, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous black and gold vlogger. And guess what? <laughs> I finally have a pair. Wanted these for so long, but they either only had one and were sold out or they just didn't have enough. And last but not least, a tiny pin that says she, he, and they by New York Toy Collective. How amazing is this haul? Adventure is worthwhile in itself. Amelia Earhart. But actually, <laughs> it's a pinwheel. How cute is that? 
I just want to say that I'm really blessed to have these people in my life. I don't take any of my clients or any of my friendships for granted. In fact, I'm actually the opposite. I give way more to people who I know who will invest in time with me and who actually appreciate what I give them in return, whether it's energy, you know, advice, you know, tips and tricks and stuff like that. And this is kind of an appreciation video for all these people. When I went to go buy stuff from Pleasure Chest, that awesome haul that I had, I had a co-worker who used to teach there and who I worked with at the dungeon and at foot night and when I went to go to one of her classes I met a co-worker of hers and my dungeon friend was leaving to go abroad for a little bit and on the way back like some homeless person followed us back to pleasure test <laughs> and uh, he kind of was making threatening like messages towards them. He kind of smacked the glass of the door. I was with a guy at the time. We stood outside, held the door closed. Both of the, the girls ran in and we made sure that they were okay. They locked up. They were fine. He ended up spitting on the glass and then just leaving angry, but we don't even know what that was about. We don't know if he was sane or not or whatever, but they were very thankful that I was there and that I helped them out with that. And so the next time I went, they gave me a 20% off friends and family discount and it was amazing. It's just like the little things that have happened in my life that have culminated into experiences and new friendships. So I'm very grateful for that. And I hope that everybody else watching this has had that. And if not, gets to experience that one way or another in their time in life. Oh, I recently got stuff from Stockroom. Um, it is the puppy mask, leash, and collar set, which can be found here. Oh, let's see what I get in the mail today. I see ears. Oh, it's a puppy mask. Mm, matching collar with the lock and and a leash oh and one lollipop <laughs> keep a lookout in the upcoming months for that photo set because it is going to be the female version of puppy play I did puppy play with one of my submissives in the beginning of the year because it's the year of the dog in the Chinese Zodiac. So it'd be very, very, very wonderful for me to do a photo set with a female sub. I am always taking applications though for submissives, especially females, because they're very hard to find, especially in Los Angeles, and especially those who are available. <laughs> now, after watching that, I decided to buy some leather goods for myself through my financial sub um, to kind of match my puppy in the future. So he got me this collar. It's a chevron collar with lace up thing in the back, which is pretty cool. I don't have leather pasties as of yet. So these are ones with tassels, which are fun, always fun. I'm gonna have to learn how to use them. <laughs> This is a leather, oh, panty, like booty shorts that have really nice lace-up ribbon and rivets in the back. So huge thank you to MP for this. Also other brands and retailers, if you're interested in collaborating with me as well, and you like my kinky concepts and you would like me to stylize and model your products and your apparel, feel free to contact me too at mara at dominamara.org. So again, I want to thank my financial submissive MP for gifting me a bunch of spending money, such as all these singles right here. I have not been to a strip club for a very long time. My first time was accidental and it was more of an exotic bar 
than a strip club because they served alcohol there and you can't have both. But I had a great time at Jumbo's Clown Room. If you guys haven't been yet, the girls are very lovely and classy and they actually look at girls and smile at them when they're giving them cash. If you have girlfriends that are open to exotic dancers, there is no nudity and you can't touch them. But if you'd like a lap dance, you can request one from the girl that you like. There is no filming or cameras or photography in Jumbos. Do note that. But you will have a lot of fun and you will be very engaged without having distractions, scrolling on your phone or, you know, having to take photos of your favorite dancers. Instead of taking photos, talk to the person, talk to the girl, get to know her. Like I said, they are fantastic ladies and super friendly, not pushy at all, amazing bodies, and amazing dancing talent. Okay, I wanna give a huge thank you to HRH, who I've only met twice, once as a meet and greet, and another one at an omakase Japanese dinner. He has driven me a couple places, and he just wants to be in service to me, kind of like my own personal butler. For my birthday, he has gifted me wine. I love whiskey, but I'm trying to educate myself more in wine. The other day after the omakase dinner, we went to a couple of wine stores and I wanted him to tell me what the best starting point for drinking wine is to kind of get my palate going for simple whites like Chardonnays and Rosés and I love Syrahs, I love Cabernets, I love, you know, those blends, and so he kind of gave me a list, but he actually took some from his personal collection and gave them to me, so it was very sweet of you to um, think of me during my birthday. I also want to thank my beautiful mama for gifting me this custom leather jacket. We passed by in a boutique store in the Philippines on my vacation. You can watch that video here. I talked about the importance of taking a break, but this leather jacket is one of a kind and no one else in the world has it. Celebrities actually stop by this specific boutique store, like getting off of the plane and heading straight there just to pick up items from this guy. So if you're ever in the Philippines, check out Victor. He has fantastic stuff. <laughs> All right, so this arrived in the mail <laughs> and, um, I don't know about you guys, but looks a little, uh, I'm a little skeptical about opening it, but it says my name. It was uh, shipped directly to my mailbox with all of my information, so somebody knew to send something to me. Kind of, you know what, I admire the packaging though. It's like real linen in there or canvas or something. You guys, I'm gonna stop for a second. Can you just appreciate this? They stitched the linen together so that it would protect the package and keep it closed. That is some um, commitment to this packaging. I'm very impressed. I want this person to package all of my stuff from now on. This is a giant lion lock yeah. with a golden key attached to it. This is beautiful. Wow. The key works! and you put it in the lion's mouth. Oh my God, this is my favorite. So fantastic. Thank you, mystery admirer. I will find you. All right, I probably have some more items that are coming in the mail because my mailbox did tell me that more things arrived, but this is the bulk of what I have. I hope it was very helpful for you guys to kind of witness and see what I've got, especially the ones that I've handpicked if you like this video, if you found it helpful for me to unbox things, let me know 
and comment down below. I feel like there are other things that I would love to try out and love to unbox for you guys, especially in kink and the fetish realm. <sighs> if that becomes a popular thing, I will make future videos. Brands, if you're watching this, feel free to email me at my business email. I am always happy to have your products sent to me, try them out, and also, you know, give my genuine review on it. So comment on the links below, share my videos. I work really hard on editing all of these and filming them because I believe it's important for me to give information out there, especially if it's really, you know, useful and handy, especially if you're starting out and you have no idea. It's just a good idea to listen and intake as much information as you can from people who are in the industry. Like, comment, follow, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell down below. It looks like this. And um, that'll tell you when I have a new video out. And I will see you guys next time. For now, check out these videos that I've created from before. And I've made playlists recently for those who are new to BDSM, for those who are already experienced, and for those who are specifically into like foot fetish, because that's gonna be a big one that I'm going to be producing later on during the year, so subscribe and I will catch you next time. Be safe and have fun.